Hi, my name is Merve. I am the person who makes the crafts that you see here on simplekidscrafts.com. I have been saving these matchboxes since the year 2013 to make this particular craft. If you don't have matchboxes at home, you can download the template to make your own from our website simplekidscrafts.com. These will be matching the size of your doll, whether it is a Monster High, Barbie or Lala Loopsie. Today, I will be sharing with you some of the crafts that I made as a four-year-old with my mom and dad. I will be also sharing some of the ones that I came up with myself as time went by. I hope that you enjoy my crafts with family and friends, and if you do, please show your support by sharing this video, commenting, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the show. For this craft, we will be using four matchboxes. Start by stacking two matchboxes. Repeat for the second set of matchboxes. Then attach the stacked matchboxes side to side. Attach beads or buttons as pulls for the drawers. For any of the finished projects today, you can cover the design of the matchboxes by using nail polish, paint, spray paint, duct tape, or scrapbooking paper on each individual box or on the overall project. I'll be using scrapbooking paper. Add feet at the bottom by gluing beads on each corner. For this project, we will be using two matchboxes. Start by applying glue to one end of the matchbox and attach the matchboxes at a 45 degree angle. Hold until it dries, then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads at the bottom as feet. For this craft, we will be using three matchboxes. Start by applying glue at one end of the matchbox on its side. Attach the second matchbox to the side. Put glue on the side and attach the third matchbox in a horizontal position as a headboard. Then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper. And attach beads at the bottom as feet. For this craft, we will be using the inside drawer of three matchboxes. Start by applying glue to one side of the drawer. Attach the second drawer and then the third. Then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and attach beads at the bottom as feet. For this craft, we will be using the inside drawer of two matchboxes and half of the cover of one matchbox. Cut a matchbox cover in two. Apply glue to the upper rim, glue onto the middle of the inside of the drawer, and start by applying glue to the side of the drawer and glue the second drawer as the back of the chair. Then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and attach beads at the bottom as feet. For this project, we will be using four matchboxes. Start by gluing and stacking all of the matchboxes together, one on top of the other. Attach beads or buttons as pulls for the drawers and then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads at the bottom as feet.
Hi, my name is Merve. I am the person who makes the crafts that you see here on simplekidscrafts.com. I have been saving these matchboxes since the year 2013 to make this particular craft. If you don't have matchboxes at home, you can download the template to make your own from our website simplekidscrafts.com. These will be matching the size of your doll, whether it is a Monster High, Barbie or Lala Loopsy. Today I will be sharing with you some of the crafts that I made as a 4 year old with my mom and dad. I will be also sharing some of the ones that I came up with myself as time went by. I hope that you enjoy my crafts with family and friends and if you do, please show your support by sharing this video, commenting and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the show. For this craft we will use 4 matchboxes. Start by attaching one horizontal matchbox to another in a 90 angle degree. Repeat for the other side. Then attach the other matchbox to the back between the two parallel matchboxes to become the back of the chair. For any of the finished projects that you see today, we will be covering the matchboxes using paint, spray paint, nail polish, duct tape or scrapbooking paper on each individual box or on the overall project. I will choose scrapbooking paper. and then add the feet at the bottom by gluing beads at each corner. For this craft we will use 4 matchboxes. Start by attaching 2 matchboxes side to side. Then attach the other 2 matchboxes to the sides as legs. Attach beads or buttons as pulls for the drawers. Paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper. Optional, you can cut a piece of foil cardboard and shape it to be the mirror. Then attach the mirror to the back of the dresser. For this craft we will be using 4 matchboxes. Start by gluing 2 matchboxes side to side. Then glue the other 2 matchboxes together in the center as feet. Paint, cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper. For this craft we will be using 4 matchboxes. Start by gluing 2 matchboxes side to side. Attach the remaining 2 matchboxes as the back of the couch. And then paint or cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads as feet. For this craft we will be using 4 matchboxes. Start by gluing 2 matchboxes on top of each other. Do the same for the remaining 2 matchboxes. Cut a piece of cardboard about 3 matchboxes wide and 1 matchbox long. Glue in place to form the desk. Attach beads or buttons as pulls for the drawers. Then paint, cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads as feet. For this craft we will be using 6 matchboxes. Start by gluing 2 matchboxes on top of each other. Repeat the same procedure for the remaining 4 matchboxes. Glue all the matchboxes side by side. Attach beads or buttons 
as pools for the drawers. Then paint, cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads as feet. For this craft we will be using 11 matchboxes. Start by gluing 3 matchboxes at the end. Make 3 sets of 3 matchboxes in total. Then make a set of 2 matchboxes glued end to end. Attach the first set of 3 matchboxes to the second set of 3 matchboxes to make a couch. Then attach the set of 2 matchboxes at the bottom of the first. And then attach the remaining set as the backing. Paint, cover with duct tape or scrapbooking paper and add beads as feet. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of the things that I bought for my dollhouse and that's for my mini Lala Loopsies, Littlest Pet Shop and Polly Pocket dollhouse and basically I have bought these items for about 20 liters here in Turkey. I'm going to put how much is that in US dollars on the description below. Let me know in the comments below whether you have bought items like this and how much did it cost where you live and whether you would like me to make some of these in actual crafts and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!
you some of the furniture that I have made for my mini dolls. These are the mini dolls on one side and then the furniture on the other and we will start by showing you the furniture and in the second part of this video I will be showing you the actual mini dolls. So here we have some of the handmade furniture that I made with matchboxes. Most of the furniture that you will see here were made with matchboxes and scrapbooking paper and some beads. All of those um, are in the description below as well as at the end of the video I will be providing you guys with links. And here we have a little basket that I made, a little Moses basket that I made using shampoo uh, bottles. And we have this little armchair that I made with matchboxes and this little table that I made with matchboxes and also using duct tape. Another little desk that I made using scrapbooking paper and matchboxes as well as beads. And some of the pot stuff like this sofa and also the little chair that you see here. There are a set of two... Uh, sofas or armchairs and four little chairs then we have the sun chair that you saw um, in the previous video and we have a couple of these sofas that I made also with matchboxes and another little dresser again all of this stuff is very easy to make it will be in the description and also towards the end of the video if you have made any of these let me know in the comments below and for which dolls you have made them if you have Lala Loopsies if you have American Girl doll minis if you have the little ones or if you have also the little pets for the Barbies and the Monster High dolls, those uh, type of furniture or this type of furniture is actually good for them. This is another dresser that I made with matchboxes. And usually I use matchboxes for the majority of my furniture that is uh, to scale for those that are from 2 inches to 6 inches tall. So this is pretty good for that type of doll. Again, another basket that I made with a shampoo bottle and i have so many little things here i mean it's very difficult to kind of show you all in one video i tried to pick as many as i could that were kind of good looking for you guys to try at home this is a little um, toilet bowl that i made with a toothpaste and also with the dental floss and here we have a little table that i made uh, actually i bought this one i didn't make this one and let me see what else I mean, there are so many little things, the chairs that go together with the first uh, chair that you saw, and these were bought, and then it comes with a piano too. Well, uh, we're almost towards the end of the video. I just wanted to know if you guys really enjoy making things for bigger dolls or smaller dolls, and if you have, what have you made? And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!